Photoshop 24.5 has got a new feature, contextual taskbars. Perhaps not as glamorous as generative fills, but it's a really useful tool. And here was one of them, just here. This is for the open document, the basic one you get. So if you want to remove it or display it, how do you do it? Go to Window and down here, Contextual Taskbar. That's all you have to do. So if you want to remove it, it's gone. Bring it back, it's there. You can also do it here. So just click here and hide bar. You can also reset the bar position and also pin it to a particular place. So you might want it at the top or at the bottom. But it's got lots of functionality you probably might not think you really need. In this case, select subject. I very rarely do that. So this one is probably more useful. Selections, so create a selection and create any selection, doesn't matter what section, rectangular marquee tool, any of them. Selection, and you've got this contextual taskbar. And this has got some great features all the way along. I hope all of the other tools have this sort of feature for them. So just click here, and you can see you've got select border. Now, all these things can be done, of course, the top, the top menu, select. You can select border, move selection, expand selection, all those things, select a mask. But it just gives a quick access, just where you're doing the selection, you've got this. Also, you can invert it. So just click there. So invert the selection. Again, invert it again, and it's there. Also, you can transform it, so click there, and there you can see it transform. Now, transform has its own contextual. You notice now, the other one's gone, and you've got this. But unfortunately, transform at the moment has only two functions. Well, three if you count the actual cancel or apply. But you've got flip and flip vertically. I hope they add additional ones, such as scale by 100%. 20%, 50%, rotate 45 degrees. Those sort of things will be really quite nice. Apply a warp to it, those sort of things. So you can just flip it and just see what happens there and just press return. Again, you're back to the contextual for the selection. And you can, of course, turn this mask. Create mask from selection. Very useful. Also, create a new adjustment layer. And you can see adjustments. This, it displays this. That's what happens, just disappears. And you can apply one of these. Now it doesn't apply immediately. So if you click and think, oh, it's gonna apply it. No, it doesn't, it just displays this and then you can apply it. Also, this is probably the most useful one for the selections. Click here, content aware fill. Now many people probably use this a lot. Personally, I don't use it that much. Fill color. This is one I use a lot. And this command isn't even available in the edit menu. There is a fill command, but all it does, it brings up the same fill panel, but it gives you immediate access to the contents and patterns. And you can select a pattern. Symmetry fill, any scripts, anything like that. Click OK, and you can see your design there, and click OK, and you can see it's applied. So if I create another selection, so it's deselect, and I apply that, just drag that over there, and again, just go down here, click that, fill pattern, again, select another one this time, I'm just gonna go with a bar, and symmetry fill, click OK, click OK. So you can do it super quick using this approach, probably faster than using the fill command normally. And again, deselect. Also, you've got type. I don't know of any other feature that has got a contextual taskbar. As far as I'm aware, Types, selections, transforms, etc. seems to be about it at the moment. But I hope, as well as document, I hope they add some more. So go over here and select some type. And I'm just going to create Lorem Ipsum. Let's just go for that. And straight away, you can see you've got your contextual taskbar. Now you can just say, oh, I don't want American type, right? Now I know you could go up here. Lots of people will probably turn around and say, well, you can go up the top. That is true. You can change regularly, you can change all these things, but you can do it quickly here. You can see it, you can rapidly run through, and you can see it as it changes. You can go for Admiral, whatever. Maybe select some type there and just change that. So on and so on. Also, now quite often I always struggle. I look up here and I think, where's the colour? Now I know it's here, but sometimes it takes a few seconds. But now it's here. So as soon as you've got it selected, 
You can change the size. Oh, I think, oh, 18, I'll go for 18. I want it a bit smaller. Oh, I don't, I want it up 72. I can change it. But also I can click here and I can say, oh, I want that red or I want that white. But again, of course I could do it here. But it just, it's the speed of access here. And again, you've got properties. So if you want to extend all the options again, you've got, click here and it will display the properties for this text. And you can see all the standard ones here for the type layer. And now, unfortunately, it doesn't close it. That would be a nice feature. If you click it again, I think it should close it. But it doesn't do that. It just stays there. I know you can close it by here, so you just click there, and it's gone. But select some text, and again, you can change font, run through it, and so on. So it's a very quick way of creating all kinds of designs. And again, press return. And with that, you can transform it. And again, you've got your contextual there. So let's just resize it. Let's just try and resize it. Yeah, as soon as you do that, unfortunately, I'd say you can only flip and things, so you can just flip it backwards and forwards like that, press return. And that is contextual taskbars. I think one of the best additions for quite a while in functionality for Photoshop. You might think it gets in the way. Well, give it a go. I, I really truly think, I think it's a great little feature. Please put in the comments if you really don't like it. You find it gets in the way, because I can understand that. It's in the screen, you think, oh. But I think it really gives quick access to a lot of functionality. And for many users, I think a lot of the functionality that they'll use is probably here in this contextual taskbar. Makes it useful. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.